All right, recently there were some people, uh, I don't know where, they were protesting a uh, freight train noise and whistles coming through in the middle of the night and all that. So with their protest, there's 15 of them or so standing on a track in front of a train. You know what, people? If you buy a house or, or rent an apartment and you see the train tracks are nearby, why the fuck would you complain later that the train whistles are waking you up? It's a fucking train track. Trains are going to run on it. They're going to blow their fucking whistle. Do you think the, uh, the engineer or whatever is going to get a bullhorn and open up the window? Attention everybody, drive safe. The train is coming. Watch out. It's not fucking practical. You know, you moved in near the train tracks. You saw the train tracks. If you didn't, then you failed to do the proper research upon moving into the neighborhood in question. Either way, you fucked up. But now, uh, and the trains and it, I can't get proper sleep. And then this one says, my kids can't function properly at school because the train whistles are keeping them up. Shut the fuck up with that millennial horse shit. Fuck that. Myself and a lot of other people worked in high school and went to class. I got off school, came home, did my chores, tended to the cat, got on the bus, switched over to the train, went to work at the mall, and then did the whole thing in reverse on the way home, getting home about 1 o'clock in the morning. I went to bed, I got up at 6, and I went and did the same thing again. My grades did not drop. I made the honor roll, so I don't want to hear this bullshit about the trains. Fuck that millennial bullshit, helicopter parody crap, blaming it all on the fucking trains. You know what? If your kids can't function properly in school, maybe their brain is not functioning properly, you better go get that looked at. Could be. Also, right before 11th grade, my first pet, Sam the Cat, passed away the Saturday before school, when I had to go back to school. It was right before Labor Day. So Labor Day weekend. The following Tuesday, just a few days after my cat passed away, I went to school. And I was really upset. I loved that cat then. I still love him. He's been gone almost 30 years. And that sucks. But I never forget him. But I went to school. I got up. I went to school. So, fuck you and your bullshit about the train whistles. You moved in to the neighborhood with the tracks. Fuck you. Don't complain about the train whistles. Why don't you fucking move? Maybe you'll fucking move to some other neighborhood without trains, and you'll shut the fuck up, and then someone with a fucking brain that appreciates trains will move into the fucking neighborhood and won't mind the fucking whistles. But you'll probably just move to another fucking neighborhood and find something else to aggravate you. Who knows? But I'll tell you what. My wife and I, we live a mile and a half from train tracks. We knew that going in. We hear the train whistles about every hour and a half doesn't bother us. We sleep for the most part. And when I do hear the whistles in the middle of the night, it's because I woke up in the middle of the night. They didn't wake me up, but I hear them and I enjoy hearing them. I also enjoy hearing the birds in the morning. What's next? Oh, my kid isn't doing good at school. It's because there's birds in the tree. Bullshit. Maybe your children are just a bunch of fucking morons. Have you considered that? Oh, no. My kid couldn't possibly be stupid. It's the birds, it's the trains, it's the trees, the airplanes, the clouds, the fountains, the cereal, the stove, the water, the beer, the soda. Well, I get kids in school probably aren't having beer. Wink, wink. But it's always something. You know what? It's not all these things. I was having trouble in school years ago in junior high. I was failing a bunch of fucking classes. I wasn't blaming the window, I wasn't blaming the cemetery. Near the school, we had two cemeteries near my junior high. I wasn't blaming the traffic, it was me. I was fucking up, I went to my mother for help. She did very little, but I eventually through, you know, I got my shit together and wound up graduating to junior high, getting out of high school on time. I don't blame anybody for that, I fucked up. I was fucking up. Took steps to fix the fucking problem and I didn't blame I didn't blame the trains, the fountains, the birds, the trees, the water, the milk, the juice, the, the cereal, the stove, the oven, the ceiling, the roof, the backyard, the toilet. But that's how it is now. There's train whistles blowing so my children can't function at school. Well, I tell you what. Take your fucking kids, put them in a fucking straitjacket, and stick them in a fucking nuthouse. Because that's where they should fucking be. 
the trains can still run, and your kids can look out the fucking window and go, and then they can go fuck off. And so can you.